we're on to the drawing part of our design. We are not yet at the building part of our design. And we've been doing group work and teamwork, and you guys have been doing dynamite. But right now, we're going to change it up a little bit. You have this in your bucket. You're going to see this is different angles of the injured knee. And what you are asked to do is design, draw your knee brace. You are going to score yourselves on range of motion, usability, durability. Okay? Range of motion, is it moving in a healthy way? Usability, can I take it on and off easily? Is it comfortable? Okay? Durable. Is it going to last day after day each time I put it on? Okay? Ready and set, go. Have at it, you guys. It seems as though you're naturally just segueing to this part, okay? So the next step, you want to decide on one design amongst your team. You got five minutes. Go ahead, turn and talk. Okay, so we should just make felt so it's flexible, so it can. Yeah, I right there, right there. Just all right. We don't need felt right there. No, we are doing it under for the comfiness. Yeah. Inside your bucket, you're going to find this tan sheet, and this is the planning stage. This is it. So you're able to take the best ideas from each of the team members and design, like draw out the knee brace that you think is going to really work tomorrow. The materials list is going to get you thinking about how many pipe cleaners. Do I need five? Do I need seven? How many rubber bands? How many brass fasteners? Okay? And that material list is really going to be important because we're going to have a store and we're going to hold you to how much you think you need of cardboard, of sticks, and so forth. So we need two, wait, one popsicle, four popsicle sticks. And we only need, we no, so we only need two we need rubber bands. And you guys, do not forget the Velcro. And remember, we should have Velcro like to attach the popsicle stick. Wait, where's the Velcro? Where is the Velcro? Well, it should be over here. See, it looks over there. You have done such a marvelous job with your designing, imagining it first, now you're planning it, and now you're really thinking about the materials. Well done. Tomorrow, we're going to go back to our blue materials list, and you're going to double check it. Okay? And then you get to design what you've just drawn. Think about it tonight, boys and girls. All right, so part two of lesson four. This is the big day. This is so exciting to finally be able to put together everything we've learned from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, right? And really start designing. Stick with the plan that you, that you agreed to yesterday. Stick with that. Even if you see a mistake, stick with it, and then you know when you get to the improve section, you'll be able to improve upon it, okay? I'm going to ring the bell at various times because that means a team member is ready to test them on the usability. And we agreed 30 seconds or less. So when we go back to that criteria of usability, when we go back to this, it's just simple. Is it less than 30 seconds or more? If it's more, we go back to the drawing board. So let's start, please, with the blue materials list, okay? Work, work productively. Six cardboard, six I just figured out that we need two to stop the injury. We need two over the car. We need to cut these in the square. We need to cut these in the square.
Big or small? Uh, uh, size, size is it, size is it. Uh, oh, yeah, the pockets. We could do it like this. No, but then we would have to, like, mark where they're going to You could put duct tape and make it and stuff. Maybe you could make something um, with the masking. Can I borrow the scissors? Hold on. I've got an idea. Can I have some scissors? Johnny. Scissors. Scissors. This is like a surgeon. <sighs> We need to be able to slide up on and off really easy. So like this, it's almost like roller oh, things. So now it's like, oh, I want to see if it can slide off. Yep. It can. But so it takes a while. It won't take that long. Range of motion, usability, and then down here, durability. Okay? Yeah. But maybe that's going to be in your improved time. You know, how can you bring it down? We never. We to do Yeah, we can. Take it. Of course you can. Let's give it a shot. Yeah. So that's a that's a check. Check that. So how much? How much does it come out? I need to well, use the phone. 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 We've got a team that's ready for testing. I, I was just thinking we could test it on the 30 seconds or under. Um, have you already tested with your goniometer and your range of motion? Is that correct? Give me a thumbs up. Have you done that? Yeah. So let's all gather around and watch them see if they can do it in 30 seconds or under. Are you going to satisfy the under 30 seconds? Who's got the timer? Ready, all right. Set. Go. All the time in the world. <laughs> 30 seconds is all the time you need. Good. Yay. Yay. Eight sevens. Woo -woo. Perfect. Eight seconds. All okay. The time so you have in the one world. place when you go back to the improve part. I think it's just you. You have uh, you know where your work needs to be, right? Well, Johnny. Oh my time to be. So Johnny, talk us through it. What are you starting with? Um, we're going right. to start with range of motion, then usability, and then range of motion, then durability. Sure. Okay. So start with a range of motion. You've got four different tests. Let's okay. see what the boys got. One. But you can pick it up a little. Break it. Okay. You can't move sideways. Okay. You can't move this way. It's a little bit. Now, last test, we got two of them. So you did both? You did, um, did all of them, yeah. Pressing it in and pressing it out. Yeah, and you had zero on. and zero? Yeah. Okay. Taking it on. All right. Okay. You may leave your brace right on the injured okay. knee. The injured knee will appreciate it. Okay? So we are going to wrap it up right now. Great job. Okay? Make sure you've got your name. Any extra supplies? Put them back over in the store, okay? And this concludes lesson four. Yeah, we need a way for nice life job. to stay in. There's a lot um, of investment on the kids, and there's a lot of talk outside of the time that you were here, outside the time that we have just sort of given to um, dedicate our, you know, our day to this, that we would talk about it and think about it and it would come up in different contexts. So, so then Thursday comes. It's like the big culminating event is how I see it. And it's like, all right, we know the materials, we've listed it out, and now we get to create. And, you know, about 90 minutes worth of really focused teamwork, collaboration, failure, try again, um, test it out. My students, like my students, um, are engaged and curious and open. I mean, so I feel really good about that and providing this opportunity for them.